when we have work to do in the world, when we feel called to make a contribution to help heal the suffering and the trauma that is rippling through the collective, it's important that we cultivate our own capacity to abide in a grounded, centered, safe, and strong foundation from which we can then express our gifts. If our foundation is crumbling, then we are going to be subject to the same identification with fear that is truly creating the suffering, the tremendous suffering in our collective psyche. So where do we go to be safe, centered, and strong? The, answer, the simple answer is we go deep within. The more specific answer in terms of the inner yogic practice, the inner contemplative practice, is we go in to our root chakra. We go to the root chakra. Now, every chakra of our being is a source of divine radiance, a very specific frequency. Every chakra stores and transmits uh, energy and intelligence of a particular kind. And the root chakra is the place within our psyche that stores and transmits the experience of fundamental groundedness, fundamental safety, and the inner capacity to patiently, wisely, consistently bring our gifts into this world. This is the place where we come into contact with the divine holy energy of the inner elder, the inner teacher in the form of the wise elder. It's within each of us when it is covered over with conditioning, when it is fragmented emotionally, that same energy of centeredness becomes scattered in fear. And rather than embody the strength and the clarity of the inner elder, that archetype splits into the victim and the persecutor. This is what we see in the world. This, in the world, there is, we are enacting collectively this split of victim, persecutor, which is destroying the planet, destroying culture, and tearing up our own pathway to awakening, to repair to repair this archetype is we are called to return to the root, to return to the root chakra and to find the sacred medicine of our inner authority, of our innate safety, of our grounded presence, to absorb that very deeply and then to return to the world with those gifts. This is deep work. It's the work that's calling us so that we can really become agents of the radiance in a world that is swirling in confusion and darkness. <laughs>